student family welcome back to another video I hope you're all doing well I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here hello my name is Kimberly and I hope you subscribe turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up to be a part of my weight loss journey family now as you guys can tell from the title of today's video I'm gonna be talking about how you can get lean thighs the difference between lean and just slimming down is lean just really trims back the body fat percentage trims back the fat unfortunately as much as we absolutely love that thigh jiggle it does mean you're reducing that thigh jiggle a little bit and it's just shredded lean and more toned whereas slimming down is just slimming down I remember when I was losing weight no matter how small my thighs would get they would still be just as jiggly the skin would be just as heavy etc etc so that's the difference between slimming and lean I'm gonna give you guys some fantastic videos that I've been testing out to really really give you guys a good recommendation on the lean guide also guys don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. Now in this video I'm going to be breaking down my sort of routine that I recommend for you guys if you want to be leaning down your thighs. Just as a disclaimer first of all you do need to get your food right and I'm not just having a good balance of making sure you've got enough carbohydrates so you're not eating too much. Making sure you've got the right balance of food that really suits you when it comes to wanting to shred down because I had to get that right so much. I'd go to the gym and spend 12 hours and still not see results so if you really really want to see results honestly that is one key tip. Next you're going to want to make sure that you're eating enough protein. When it comes to doing any type of muscle workout or lean shredding workout, your protein actually feeds the muscle. So if you want to make sure you're getting that good balance of your muscles being fed and having the right nutrition that enables them to grow, you would want to be making sure you've got enough protein. Protein is fantastic and amazing way to grow the muscle and to help reduce the body fat. People who have protein in their meals actually lose 33% more than people who don't incorporate protein. So have your chicken breast, have your fish in every single meal mix and match and make sure you find what's right in terms of your protein intake now without further ado we're going to be reviewing the best lean workout leg slimming videos on youtube now when it came to me reviewing the thigh slimming videos those ones aren't going to be as intensive when it comes to leaning down your legs they might be even incorporating a little bit of cardio which is important but they're not solely focused on giving that intensive burn video number one believe it or not as much as i normally say that i find her videos beginner based this Chloe Ting video is actually amazing. I tested this one out with my family. We've all gone through it. We've all tested it. My, I've, I'm in a family of CrossFitters, so we really, really do look for that intensive, lean, shredding down routine. And this one, we all gave it a fantastic review that it actually is so effective. Now, honestly, guys, if you do this one for two weeks, a lot of Chloe Ting challenges are two weeks, but if you do this one for two weeks, you will see a significant amount of results. That's how long it normally takes me to see results so again when it comes to leaning down it is about the consistency it is about making sure because your food is enabling you to reduce body fat percentage and your workouts are making sure you're building up that muscle so leaning down your legs you want to be consistent and what I love about Chloe Ting routine is this specific movement if you continuously do this one and repeat this one leaning down process is going to be a fantastic for your results I am someone who comes from having very big bulky legs if you want to lean down I never thought my legs could lean down you can lean down so this one two weeks consistently this is the movement that I found the most useful in her entire video next I then compare Lily Sabri now Lily Sabri has so many leaning down videos and I've done her slimming videos before but when we come to leaning ones that means we're just looking for a more intensive harder effective burn it's going to really really give you the results that you want and when it came to looking through the Lily Sabri videos again me and my family all tried it out we all tested it and it came down to this specific Lily Sabri video that blew me away and it gave me so many sweats and I was out of breath I was really really being worked and that's what you want again like I say I'm a tough critic because my legs were like this big each this big each before and they've really really leaned down so if you want to really get that fat burning specific workout. Isolate this movement as well from the Lily Sabri video. This is the movement that I found so most useful in her videos and it's one that a lot of the time in CrossFit we repeat as well. So I think it's really useful to know that if you do the isolated movement from the Chloe Ting, the isolated movement from the Lily Sabri, on top of your workout, you do the 10 minute workout, you're going to have a really really effective burn. Again, keeping your food right, keeping your food consistent, having your protein, shredding it back is what's going to help you with 
the leanness. You're reducing the body fat percentage and enabling the muscle to grow it within your legs to lean it down and burn more fat. So after that, I would recommend to really do the Chloe Ting for two weeks, then do the Lily Sabri for two weeks. But because the Lily Sabri is actually harder, do have the stamina in you, I would actually add an extra week because that is how helpful I find the Lily Sabri videos. If you want that effective burn, if you want that effective change, I honestly do recommend doing hers for a little bit longer than you do the Chloe Ting. In this instant, instance, for however, I would say Chloe Ting and Lily Sabri videos, these specific videos I found the hardest and the most effective. Moving on to Emmy Wong. Now the reason why I wanted to specifically test out Emmy Wong is because in all the other aspects, whether it's the stomach slimming, the belly fat removing, I find her videos the hardest. So I wanted to test out to give anyone who's been doing workouts for a long time that variety of a harder workout. It was this specific Emmy Wong video that really, really blew me away. Tested it out, tried it, compared it to the others, and yes, I do find it the hardest. This one I'd honestly recommend working up towards. If you want to just jump straight into the Lily Sabi video, do that, but make sure that you level up at some point after a two weeks or three weeks to the Emmy Wong video and it's going to be really important for you to see results to make sure that you have something to level up to because remember the body gets stagnant and you want to be giving it that that shake up to make sure that it's really really doing the burning process. This specific Emmy Wong workout it's the one that I found the most useful throughout the whole video. It really really gives you that burn. I always say her workouts even though they're 10 minutes long probably make me sweat the most out of all the ones I've ever tried on YouTube and that's something to bear in mind for the effectivity of your full process is that Emmy Wong really really helped me. Again, tough critic, coming from such a long way, she still gave me that very, very big burn. And it was it was harder for me to find Emmy Wong's harder, because I left it to the end, but they surpassed my expectations. So again, consistency, six days a week, start to Chloe Ting, go to Lily Sabri, end with Emmy Wong, isolate the movements, the three movements, and make sure you're doing those every day on top of your workout for repetitions of 20. Be consistent and you can get there. Last but not least, I hope you have enjoyed this routine in the videos and my recommended routine. Because that's the sort of routine I follow if I want to lean down. But again, most importantly, leaning down is about reducing the body fat percentage. For example, you might have got to your goal weight. But once you've got to your goal weight, you can actually end up losing a whole dress size just by reducing your body fat percentage. So that's what we're really, really focusing on in this video of the leaning down process, reducing the fat, allowing the fat to be reduced, reducing your body fat percentage overall. So don't forget to increase your protein. Don't forget to incorporate protein in every single meal. Don't forget to be consistent. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe because we have so many fitness videos over the whole of December and we're uploading so much more. Don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.